can't put my hand on it, Mario. But something about you's changed. You look different. started with this video give it a thumbs up let's get it over 500 likes we could do it all right breaking news y'all remember the rumors from the wall street journal about a switch mini and a revised switch model well nintendo has officially confirmed both they confirmed that the switch Lite is coming in september and on their japanese they confirmed that the revived switch is coming i think they said in august but guess what nintendo weren't playing when they said august the revised switch the new switch is being shipped right now as we speak and it's already on store shelves that's right <laughs> It's being confirmed in Australia that the revised Nintendo Switch model is now on store shelves. And it's also said that it's been launched in Hong Kong. And so any day now, it's going to appear on U.S. store shelves. Nintendo's doing this with no who I told you guys. That Nintendo's not going to advertise it. They're not going to do anything big. You're just going to go on store shelves. And boop. There's a Nintendo Switch. With a red um, box. Now. The, how you'll know that it's the revised model. Is this right here. It's going to be. In a red package. A red box. That's how you know this. The revised Switch. And the big thing is. What Nintendo has shown off is the battery life. A huge difference in battery life. The current Switch does from two, two and a half to three or something like that. Uh, depending on the game, this one does like four and a half to nine hours. Crazy increase in battery life. And that's not what's really piquing my interest. And I know Nintendo's not going to talk about this because Nintendo never talks about the internal specs of their systems. It's being reported this new Switch model does have a new system on, on a chip, a new SoC, the new um, revised Tegra X1 chip, which said to be um, battery efficient. And some are saying that it will have higher clock speeds. So potentially, I'm not saying that this has uh, been set in stone. Potentially, games on this revised Switch could run at better frame rates, slightly better frame rates, as well as higher resolutions. Now, um, don't get me wrong. This is not the Switch Pro. This is not going to be the next-gen Switch model. This is, if anything, if it's said to have a higher clock speed, it's going to be a slight difference. Non, um, is not going to. Re you're not going to be able to see a huge difference. Um, that's why Nintendo's just sort of sneaking this in, and that way they don't get current Switch owners upset. Oh, we just bought your Switch. Now there's a more powerful Switch. No, the Nintendo did say it's going to have a much better battery life. So, I mean, early adopters, we know what we're getting. Any console, not just Nintendo. Sony, Microsoft, they do the same thing. They revise their hardware. So we know what we're getting as early adopters. We get to play the games first, yada, yada. But Microsoft, I'm thinking, I'm hoping this is like an Xbox One S. Microsoft never really touted um, that it was a more powerful system. When in fact, when Digital Foundry started to do game analysis and comparing it, games on the Xbox One S did in fact run at better frame rates so we'll have to wait and see but <coughs> the revised nintendo switch is now available on store shelves in some regions and i think it's going to be any day now in the u.s i thought i heard somewhere that it was supposed to be early august so we're going to see i'm going to be picking one up i'm trying it out 
I got so many switches. I'm gonna have like six switches, bro. Come on, bro. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about the revived switch on store shelves right now as we speak? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. Different too. Where's Mario?